Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am, well, I don't even know if I showed my October book on YouTube. So this is my October book. I'm in my Moterm Standard Companion TN. I do not use these um, because of the way I just tip in my book in the back pocket and in the front I put my monthly. I've got tons of videos on this. I cut down these books myself. They are monthly books and here is my October. So, it's like a splash of all things fall. In my mind, I get September, October, and November fall related. And I uh, love it. So probably, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I made this and a few others. Those back there with the little doodads. Um, one of them will be for uh, November. Yeah. So... I am loving back. I'm loving that I'm back into my astrology. It is just what I love. It's just what I know. It's just all things wonderful. I don't know what that means. It's, oh, schedule my daughter's stuff. So, goals for myself: mammogram, OB, student loans, group therapy, woman's retreat. Look at the cat. Cannot. Um. Scripture plan, depression, fear, parenting, stress, faith, and anxiety. I break them up myself and I color code them. So whenever I'm feeling whatever, like I did fear today, I have that. Gratitude for my husband, normal gratitude. And then here we are on the tracker. So today is Tuesday the 27th. I have added walking at night and confessions. I'll show you those in a minute. But my morning pages look like so, and I just go to town on those. Devotion notes, I'm using both colors of my fountain pen. Scripture writing, I mean, soap study, prayers. This was actually the front cover vellum last month. I just repurposed it and used it in here. Um, I haven't ate yet. I did great until the dinner. <laughs> I had Panera. I had half a sandwich and a soup and some cereal. I'm still trying to do keto and eat kind of clean. And I've stopped tracking keto. Um, and now that I say that out loud, I'm like, why'd you do that? <laughs> I'm going to put it back. Um, I was not keto. I did do confession. Yeah. Here film yeah so exercise fast eat clean stay keto affirmations spiritual warfare get your get your stuff on yesterday i talked about strongholds in on my um instagram if you're not following me it's moniki underscore life um m-o-n-i-k-i -I underscore l-y-f-e strongholds are something that you notice that happens repetitive and it's just like not of the lord it, you know it's maybe fear doubt um and it's just kind of different from the intrusive thoughts that i get on a normal everyday basis um they're more spiritual if that makes sense so um i'll show you some of my ways i use it in my journal to help me I haven't done homeschool because I am using this week's for homeschool. Um, I'm track. I went back and tracked all of our homeschool, and then um, I'm gonna use the monthly for f uh, any field trips that we did. And this is my standard um, Hobonichi week. So if you don't remember, I do a mega and a standard every year. So these are some of the ones that I kind of just used before. Um, so I set it up like this. I'm putting lesson events, um, you know, just things to inspire me, help motivate me. Like you could do stuff on, I mean, this is a whole nother video, but so the reason why I have that like right there. So, um, I don't know what I want to do here other than maybe paste down craft related things. And now that I'm saying that, so that way I have, oh, can't relate it. 
ideas for crafts because she is heavily a craft gal. So I've got my, um, all of my stuff migrated over and on my brain dump, I didn't wash the dishes. You know, the dishes are becoming a struggle for me. I swear. I am going to incorporate to walk 10 minutes every night as the weather gets cooler. Um, here's the week. And then here was yesterday. So I love being back in my stology. I also brought out the Hovenichi A5 cousin. I say A5 because I have many different size cousins. <laughs> so um, I'll put that right there. I'm trying to mark when I, because I do my planner projects over here. Like if I brought out something new that week, I'm trying to mark it on my days, what I brought out. So here's today. I haven't really done absolutely anything. So uh, film, laundry, dishes, vitamins. This pen is a Uniball Jetstream 1.0. It's my most favorite writing pen, return library books. This is just what I know in my head what needs to happen. So I will definitely go and review some of the other things. I woke up at 7. I did my schedule a little earlier. So I can just kind of denote what I'm doing here for myself. That kind of translates into self-care. So that is next week. This is the next set of daily, so I know where I'm at. Let me move my hand. So after that is my exercise and health log. And then in comes my pretty planning. So again, all of the images you kind of see are like Pinterest. With the exception of this gal, I don't know, somebody gave me a file. I think it was my friend Shia. Um... <laughs> thick thighs spooky vibes i'm i'm not into all the halloween spooky stuff but some things i think are cute and i will definitely put in my planner so 21 things to do in october so this kind of helps me with homeschooling too like halloween face painting oh that's a good one tie-dye orange t-shirts oh my gosh i need to like where are my post-its Oh, they're in here. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm not going to be able to do it, right? Because they're too small. Ruined. Okay, let's go back here and put it on my brain down. Take craft ideas from image. I'll know what that means. So, let's go back, and this is my pretty planning. Y'all seen that already. So, I've got five weeks. I'm in here five weeks. Then, it's journaling. So, again, some days are the whole page. Some days not. I'm barely on day two. So, I've got 30 days of that. And then, here is my marriage tab. So, why do I have a marriage tab? Same reason why I have gratitude for my husband. Um, I have intrusive thoughts. Um, I have, I have a lot of things that are um, not fun when it comes to OCD. It's just and PTSD and anxiety, depression. It's, it's just, it's just not fun. So I always set up my book to help me try and stay focused. I also, I'm scatterbrain. I can use that because I do have ADD. Um, I'm not medicated for any of this, and that is another stronghold I kind of have um, from trauma as a child. Again, I was one of those caregiver children, and it created issues for me, a lot of issues that manifest high later in the adulthood. Um, so I have to purposely try to focus just on what matters. My marriage matters, God matters, my kids matter, my mental health matters. So I am incorporating, I think this is like the third month, but last month my husband didn't get to write on it, but I'm having him write something for me every month. 
and I build around that. So he said, my wife, we have grown together and I love where it, I, I can't read his writing sometimes. I love where the possibilities might take us together and with God, we can do all things. So I put a picture of us. I put this quote. I put what the Bible says about marriage and love, what I can do to help me. Forgive quickly, remember your why, talk it out always, sacrificial love, listen without interrupting. So it's just like one of those pages that I can go to, okay, you are really mad or having issues or intrusive thoughts about fear um, that are nagging, that you know are really, really heightened and won't go away. Try to sit in the discomfort and ground yourself somehow. Which is why um, I did bring back confessions. And I'll show you in a minute. But this is uh, scripture writing. But I've been doing a little bit different today, yesterday and today, which I think I'm going to keep up with. Um, kind of more like verse mapping, definitions, um, affirmations, all in one. So Second Chronicles seven fourteen is if my own people will humbly pray and turn back to me and stop sinning, then I will answer them from heaven. So I just kind of go back if on the condition, my own, his kids, people will humbly a lower position, pray to tell God and turn, execute, do something back to me, return to God and stop means halt no more. What is sinning, strongholds, wrongdoing, then I will answer. God will pull you out, them from heaven, eternity, everlasting with Christ Jesus. So you are beautiful. You are loved. You are forgiven. Speak the word over your life. Very, very helpful page for me yesterday. So I kind of did the same with Isaiah 41.10. And I will continue to do that all month. It takes about 35, 40 minutes in the morning to get through my system and I consider that self-care. So in between my um, scripture writing and commonplace, I had an extra page. I was like, oh, perfect. Strongholds, what are they? <clears throat> I found a little image. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. The Bible teaches us that Satan tries to build strongholds in our lives. One way to identify the stronghold in your life is to watch for repetitive situations that pull you down in spirit. We all know inside when something is not right in our life or we're getting out of control. If that happens to you, seek God um, early to find out what is going on. If a negative behavior becomes repetitive, that is a signal that Satan is building himself a stronghold in your life. God will destroy the devil's stronghold within you if you draw, if you draw near to him. Strongholds can and will manifest with sin. That's what I put. So... <laughs> Um, commonplace, all I did was do my faith routine again because I was going to do a whole new um, resource. I was going to do a whole new book. So as you know, in my system, I allow myself to have a commonplace book for these reasons. So gratitude, morning pages, um, soap study, prayers, devotion notes, those are all in the front as I just showed you. So part of my faith routine... If you go back to some of my earlier videos, I always talked about it, is topical study, scripture writing, um, affirmations, confessions. So for me to fight back, I want to confess the fear. So I drew out <clears throat> like that, which is similar to my morning page, and I gave myself five weeks of confessions that I can do. I was going to do five weeks of affirmations, but I just decided that I can put my affirmation or some kind of something in with more of a verse mapping. I also have like, you know, I've always always done like topical study, like on fear or more inductive study. And if I want to do that, obviously I need to move my commonplace little thing now. Um, I can do that in the back here with the next blank page. So for the month I have uh, not as many pages. So if I go through this fast and I make this the rest of my faith resource, I mean, come on, I always have other things that I can use for commonplace book. But again, these are my um, 
gosh, I just had a blank. These are my monthly books. I'm waiting still for my apricot in the Moterm on uh, veg tan leather. The lychee is my favorite leather from Moterm. So I'm nervous that I won't like the um, apricot leather. If once I get it, I'll unbox it. I'll roll it on camera. I'll do all the things that I normally do. But this is like the more gray and I absolutely 100% love it. So let's mosey on down to right here. This is my A5 cousin. So I, which I call hence planner project. This is a 2021. Again, if you have older cousins, repurpose them. It's a great way for you to not feel like you need to buy a new one. More than likely I will buy a 2023 Hobonichi cousin. Trust me, it's just what happens. But I have all the sizes. I have A5, I have B6, uh, A5, I have standard. B6, B6 Slim, I have a personal size, um, weeks, like I just make things. Um, here is my, when I open it up, I changed out this little thing to be orange. I printed out stuff, put a picture um, before my husband. It was uh, me and my son, so I can switch out these pictures. Um, it says it is it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So I thought to put that right there. That was there before. Stickers. And then here comes just the cousin. I used to track like this um, before. Like I kind of did it in my weekly. Now I do it in my weekly over here. And it kind of really satisfies the itch. I do it there. So I thought to maybe do another tracker in here while I'm playing with it. These are here because I use a little strip to white out this thing. It's like paper instead of white out. So yeah, I have it tracking. Who knows if I'll use that. I do have a monthly that I did. I didn't put it here because, I don't know, I just wanted to, I mean, I might tie this back with a paper clip. But I repurposed by doing the little date stickers that come from, I don't know, some studio agenda or something. And I just kind of loosely put my, my stuff. And again, this is a VEC 2021. I've journaled in the weeklies. So 2021. I've done this. So this is like the pretty planning that I love to do except it doesn't have a lot of stickers. It's just a lot of like highlighters and a little bit of stickers here and there. So obviously, you know, I do my pretty planning back here now. But I still love to see it from a weekly perspective because that one is just like, you know, three days. It's like, what is it called? Day on four pages? Is that what it's called? So I've done that before. Last I used it was May, June, 2022, and then I did reverse plan last week. So my goal for a little bit is to bring back the messy planning in the Hobonichi Cousin because I can't find it. I can't find many people. Um, my friend, I think it's Gibster Plans on um, Gabby. She's like my little daughter. I love her. I just seen her this weekend. She came in um, to go to the craft place and we met up. But she's an A5 cousin. She is what I'm talking about when it comes to messy planning. Messy planning is use different pins. Who cares if they don't match? Um, use page flags. Use highlighters. Use, like, don't go to the whole aesthetic of Coffee Monster Co., like with those emojis everywhere. And I feel like everybody does that or they do whatever. So here's today or this week. I thought, um, you know, put the weather at the top. I love seeing the weather because, oh, hello. Can we see that it's going down? Yes. And I just kind of drew out and broke apart these little highlighted ones. I can change the header each day for this section um, just kind of any pertinent events in the evening that happen and then just a little journaling for myself. So that's how I want to use it right now. And again, this is the Avec, if I didn't mention. 
uh, benefits of apple cider vinegar, my morning routine, be strong and courageous. And then here is when I started using it last year. Just a little. And then, I don't know what this is, but I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> I'm gonna flip through fast. Um, so yeah, stop watching the news. Still, um, very relevant. So this is, this is what I like to do. I love to do things like this, post-its, uh, stickers, just stuff like that. But for me, I went and channeled, um, back in the day where I'm not using a lot of stickers and I'm actually using the full page and I'm putting post-its everywhere. This is the type of planning I love. This is the type of planning I've always done. And I journaled, this was yesterday and then this was today, like I pre-planned today on purpose. But shower, breakfast, Chick-fil-A, stay low carb, a Walmart run, Madam Secretary, pick up my son, find a new series. I didn't do homeschool like I wanted to, evening to-dos, journaling, an affirmation, weather, and I just used all of the little cute sticky notes <clears throat> that I have. Because why not? I'll cover up the page with the page flag. I will draw out to where the um, schedule is longer. So obviously the schedule is like from 6 to 3. I did from like 9 to 7. Like this is so fun. Draw borders around. It's so fun, y'all. And I, I really hope that it inspires someone or more people to just get back into the messy planning. Um, just not caring. How do I say this? I've always been a huge encourager of use your own stuff. Shop your stash. Be unique. Let people inspire you, but don't copy them. Like have your own way of doing things. Um, there are a few people that I can, you know, remember in my head that I encourage to do that and they are totally doing that, but then they get huge and big in the planner community and then like they just forget and they go and do a different aesthetic. And I'm like, no, <laughs> go back to what you used to do, please. But, um, and I mean, I'm not trying to be funny or be shady or, you know what I mean? Because I get that a lot. Well, you just seem like you're... I get it in my DMs and I'll get it on my comments on here and I will delete it. And, and no, I'm not telling you this. So you can say, oh, stay encouraged. Like, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm one of those ones that I will do me regardless. Like, I don't even, I'm, I'm so headstrong that sometimes I don't even listen to my own husband. So I, trust me, if I don't listen to my own husband, I'm not listening to strangers on the internet. I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to be funny. But like, I say this to just try and tell you that there's just so much in this community that I'm seeing like people following the crowd and I'm like, no, come back, come back and use your stuff. Um, and who cares if it's from the Dollar Tree or wherever, like, I hope this makes sense. I was encouraged to do that. So you're going to see me. I, I want to, you know, I want to use a few of these pages, maybe a few weeks in here. Um, to do that and just to have so much fun hopefully I will do plan with me's um, on it so I can show you how I'm going to do it maybe I'll set up Wednesday um, as a pre-plan to just show you what I'm talking about but either way please my friends I couldn't find any Hobonichi cousins that were actually lived in used had a method it was always just an aesthetic and <laughs> I was talking to another girl she's like what is the deal with props she's like we're gonna have a whole photo shoot for a planner and I'm like yeah I guess that <laughs> just, you know she was she was just talking about it and I I agreed I was like a prop I mean you're gonna get all of the crap right here I don't know my wrinkled vinyl you know what is this? This is just functional for my family. Do you understand? This is the main table we eat at and I need to get some placemats, but they will destroy it. They will drop everything and I need to be able to wipe. And I love sitting right here. So 
the prime prompts that you will see is an empty coffee cup and you know i don't know so anyhow these are the little pins that i've used for a lot of my um get the rest um they're gel pins and these are from michael's so i kind of just stick them here and i use them a lot uh for my writing so inner gel kuka yo pins or whatever so i kind of just stick them in here because they're you know thin enough then um i just use all the colors i just love doing that i love using different pins and the pins that i keep close by are my uniball jet stream 1.0 my pilot metropolitan and then uh inner like a different color um gel pen that I always keep out and I use that a lot in my main planner and I like to write with different colors different things and whatever's close by I will use but the majority of my my planning is done with this uh, uniball jet stream so anyhow these are some of the other little things that I had made I think this is gonna heavily go for um, November I need to actually put that there. But I, I love just looking at things. I'm a very visual person. And I just love when people actually use their stuff and they have a method to their madness. Um, if you if you feel like, oh, you know, Monique doesn't know what she's talking about. You know, hey, you're probably right. Who cares? <laughs> but I am loving the um, Hobonichi Cousin. I think for now, I'm just going to stick it in there because I'm not really using the tracking. So that way it gets me to my month fast, my week fast, my daily fast. So I do have some stuff back here. These were like lunch ideas, breakfast ideas. That's it. And then that's what that looks. I have a bunch of pictures of my family to change them out in the front. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. This is a long video. Thanks for listening to me rant and God bless you.